Hello everybody and uh, welcome to today's vlog. I have another scroller box subscription. I'm very excited. I've been waiting for weeks for this to arrive. It took longer to arrive than the last one did. This one arrived on the 7th of March. Okay. All right, scroller box. I love how it's all packed up. And look, it's less torn than it was last month, so that's good. I love the little sticker logo. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. So first of all, there's a little heart lollipop. Fruit flavor boiled sweet, so that's nice. I didn't eat last month's <laughs> sweet, but maybe I'll eat this one, who knows. Okay, and let's see, oh, a Toma acrylic marker, Toma art, that's very pretty. Okay, chisel tip, Pentel Fiesta, oh, a mechanical pencil with an eraser, I haven't, I haven't had one of these for a while, so it'll be interesting to see how it compares to last week's, last month's graphic, um, graphite pencils. Some CUI to Brighton artist quality brushes. So I guess Scroller Box must have a um, must have a deal with CUI to Brighton because last month their little notepad was from CUI to Brighton. So these are very stiff so they'll need a wash before use. Um, but yeah it's a nice little selection acrylic paints Amsterdam all acrylic standard silk series this is lamp black raw sienna vermilion that's very orange and nickel titanium yellow that's very lemony I like that and of course we've got the sticker logo this month we've supplied you with everything you need to create a masterpiece in acrylics. We have even included a real, quote unquote, palette to mix the paint on. Oh, that's interesting. Um, where's the real palette? Here. <laughs> quote unquote, real palette. It's on card. Um, okay. With the help of anatomics, we are pr providing you with the tools and inspirations to get creative with acrylics. So if this is a new beginning or old hat, test out the materials and see what you can create. 20 mils of Amsterdam acrylic paint. These four acrylic paints are light, fast, durable and have a short drying time with virtually no odor. The transparent tubes accurately show the color, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Toma acrylic marker. This chisel tip acrylic marker is suitable for all types of surface, providing a different way to apply paint. Blah, blah. Water resistant once dry, that's great. Um, small collection of synthetic brush sizes and shapes. Selection of tools. Be sure to clean your brushes with soapy water. Never let your acrylics dry on the brushes, yep. Pentel Fiesta Mechanical Pencil, a great little automatic pencil to sketch out your initial layout before breaking out the paints, okay? Click the lid to extend the lead, obviously, and turn it over to util utilize the eraser, very handy. And Fabriano, Fabriano? Pitura, 400 GSM paper, okay. This heavy duty paper is made with prime quality cellulose pulp, acid free, guaranteeing inalterability over time. Oh, that's good. The paper has a natural grain surface and is designed especially for acrylics. So that's quite nice. It's, um, yeah, it does have a nice grain. Sort of liney this way. Reminds me a little bit of um, watercolor paper. It's quite thick. And okay, for, for especially for acrylics, interesting. And the scroller challenge is new beginnings. Hmm. Use this palette to mix your paints, but don't use the brushes to blend them. Cut the corners off this sheet and use those to create your new colors. Okay, so you'll have to cut these off and blend the colors using those. Well, that's interesting. 
that'll be a fun little exercise. And this, of course, is the artist. How beautiful. It looks like it's been painted on real wood. And then a photograph has been printed. How gorgeous. A nice little acrylic bird. So that's using black, white, yellow, raw sienna maybe, and vermilion. We don't have a white in this kit. So that's missing. But that is very beautiful. I wonder if this symbolizes new beginnings. Hmm. Featured artist, Anatomics. Previously a musician, sound engineer and DJ, doing occasional illustration works. Work? Gosh, I'm reading badly today. Anatomics decided to make her art her full-time endeavor in 2010. She spent the last six years developing her style and narrative and produced her first solo show in London in Feb 2015. She creates symbolic modernist works inspired by philosophy, theology, mathematics, and science fiction. Hello, lady after my own heart. And has become particularly well known for her large scale murals, distinctive polygonal animals, polygonal, polygonal, and geometric patterns. Anatomics.com. And you can follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Cool. So here's where I got down to testing the supplies. Um, the first one I tried is the Toma marker, and I really, really like this marker. It's super black, it's juicy, it's not hard to get the ink out. And the second thing I tried was the um, the mechanical pencil, uh, which is fine. I mean, um, I don't think I'm a big fan of mechanical pencils. I think I like really nice smooth graphite rather than mechanical pencil. It just feels a bit clicky for me. Uh, the eraser works fine on it, but it's not not super great. So the paints felt great to use. I was not a big fan of the colors they chose. I really hate working with browns and because they didn't have a white, it was really hard for me to mix any sort of colors that I was happy with. I'm not a big fan of oranges too, I have to say, but I sort of saw this mixing paint thing as an exercise for me. Um, I sometimes watch those paint mixing videos on Instagram or YouTube so I thought here is my chance to try it with colors that I've never worked much with and been a fan of. Um, it was difficult for me, I didn't like it but the paints themselves were beautifully pigmented and smooth and you know lovely to work with. I just I'm not sure if I will use that brown shade again I never really do but I love the lemony yellow and the orange I actually like that shade of orange as well. The black was actually a bit less black than the marker. So here you can see me starting to do the um, the drawing. I had trouble choosing the drawing that I was going to do this month because New Beginnings to me the colors didn't match what I felt would be the concept for me. So in the end I was a bit inspired by um, 70s pop art, circa 70s Sesame Street pinball machine or circa um, 60s Roy Lichtenstein maybe and I thought I would do uh, a face that I kind of have always done. I, I always do this face as a cup sort of thing, hollow head with, um, with stuff coming out of it. I just always have since high school. It's been a doodle that I do. A doodle that I do. <laughs> so I thought I would do that with new beginnings coming out because for me, um, the past few years actually has been uh, full of new beginnings in terms of mental health and recovery and life seems to be going up as well, which is great. Um, so yeah, the concept was lovely to work with, but not so much the colours. Anyway, so here you can see me starting out <laughs> doing um, single rays, but then I got tired of that and went, this is bullshit, and uh, covered the whole thing in yellow because I thought, you know, that would be much easier. I tried to, to, to mix a nice skin tone, and then it was hard for me to use the brushes, uh, not because they were bad brushes, just because the, the shapes they used were a bit, they were harder to control, so maybe not the right medium for them um, and maybe not the right shapes for the particular artwork that I was doing. Yeah, so it was hard for me to stay in the lines. Um, 
yeah, so I didn't worry about it too much, just let myself make mistakes. Because, you know, at the end of the day, this isn't an artwork that I'm going to be a huge fan of anyway, just because of the colours. So I thought I would enjoy it for what it is, a lovely creative exercise in doing something different. And that's part of why I love Scrollerbox, because you never know what you're going to get to play with. And it could be something that you love and are very familiar with, or it could be something that you... <laughs> never have wanted to play with and you might discover something new um so yeah it, it, here you can see me giving up entirely on um having clean lines and sort of putting some extra texture in the um the yellow parts <laughs> because yeah there was no way I was keeping this artwork clean here I come back in with the term marker I really enjoyed it um, I, sh I should have used a thinner marker, but you know, you, you use what you get in the sketch box. But yeah, you can see it's a really easy to use tool and the black is really pigmented and it's really smooth. Some paint, paint markers I have used in the past, um, the, the paint, you know, you're really struggling to get paint out of it. So yeah, big fan of the Toma marker. And there is the finished artwork. At some point my video stopped working, so you didn't see me coming back in with the mechanical pencil and doing all those scribbly details. But I just used it to create a bit of shading on the face and I, I tried to use it to do flame details in the sun rays and clouds coming out of her head, the side of her head. That is where I would have loved to have some white in the package, people. Uh, I was really, really missing having some white paint because that would have made life so much easier. So there you have it. There is my scroller box challenge for the month, new beginnings, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing or comment telling me what your favorite scroll box has been or what you would have done for a new beginning. Thanks for watching, sweethearts. See you next week. Bye.